Tell the story when uh, you had to walk home from the airport. <laughs> well, and, and that's the thing, Dan, you appreciate about Coach is that uh, he did it the right way, Dan. Uh, not only was he a highly successful winning coach, but he did it with uh, integrity of the rules. It was always about respecting the game with him. Uh, he loved his players. He loved his team. And I did a, I posed for a calendar. Um, I was the, I was the month of February. I was the love month, Dan. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, this is a but, fundraiser for a sorority on campus. Th- yeah, this was a fundraiser for a sorority on campus for handicapped girls to go to summer camp. And I thought I was doing the right thing. And but the wrong thing was you're, you're taught at Indiana, you go to compliance, you go to the assistant coaches, you make sure you cover yourself. And I didn't do that. That was my mistake. And on top of it, it was a Kentucky game. <laughs> and anybody that knows coach um, and the feelings of Kentucky at the time um, would know what I'm talking about. So the irony of me being suspended for the Kentucky game for a compliance issue, uh, really dug deep to coach. But it, it, again, speaks volumes of coach. He didn't fight it. He didn't try to get administrators or people from the outside to fix it. Uh, he's like, no, you made a mistake. And now uh, you're going to feel that mistake because it's not just going to affect you. It's going to affect your team. Well, I, Dan Dockage was our GA at the time. I'd played with Dan for a couple of years. And so I went to Dan. I said, Dan, I've been suspended, but am I supposed to go on the road trip or not? He said, I don't know what to tell you, but I think I'd be on the bus. So I was on the bus. And when you when you exit a bus uh, for a road trip or any other time, coach would always hit you on the back as you left the bus. And we got our trench coats on. It's cold. And I'm one of the last players off the bus. And I see him just hitting everybody. And I'll never forget, Dan. He hits me. <laughs> and then he grabs the back of my coat and pulls me back in the bus and says, what are you doing? You're at home. You're suspended. Think about what you did. Support your teammates from home. Find your own way home. (laughs) So I'm in, it's 20 (laughs) minutes from campus out in the middle of the winter. And I just start walking. I see the plane go through the cloud (laughs) and I'm walking. I get about a half mile up the road and the the poor bus driver saw all this. the (laughs) The bus pulls up next to me. He opens up and he just looks at me. He goes, need a ride <laughs> i said yeah i'd be great right now i'd appreciate a ride i hope the coach that uh, the bus driver didn't know that uh you know coach would oh, no, we, i think that was that was just something kept between the bus <laughs> yeah, i'm sure it was 